IV pumps are, are among um, the most frequently used devices in healthcare, with an estimated 9 out of 10 patients receiving an IV medication during their hospital stay. Now, the traditional infusion pump was the first programmable IV pump with the capability to program a specific rate and a volume. So it provided just basic capabilities. And if you look at this list right here, it was not a lot. And these pumps were truly the kind of the workforce of um, infusion therapy for many years and really helped kind of really springboard us to next, which was smart infusion pumps. So smart infusion pumps um, were actually conceived in 1992 by Dr. Nat Sims at Mass General. And shortly after, drug libraries were introduced um, into the pumps that helped provide nurses the technology to deliver really highly complex therapies. Now, smart um, pumps have been indispensable in the administration of meds and fluids and even blood. And so they help reduce the administration errors associated with miscalculated doses. They provide a check of the calculation, ensure that the dose selected is appropriate, and they allow nurses to recognize the programming errors and miscalculated doses through these alerts and stops and that safety software. So all of this kind of leads us to why advanced technology is needed. Number one, to kind of lower the complexity, to lower the cognitive demand, to lower the potential for um, um, contributing to, to medication errors. Now, healthcare was forever changed after the Redonda Vaught case, the former nurse uh, criminally prosecuted uh, for a fatal drug error in 2017. Now, this case gripped all nurses across the country and set a danger pre dangerous precedent of criminalizing the honest mistake uh, and, and the fact that she had reported this mistake. Now, the nursing profession is already extremely, extremely short-staffed. And, and this strain is, is, is causing immense pressure on nurses. We need to look at a more effective mechanism, bleeding edge technology to help support nurses. And we want to make sure that we give them the right tools. And, and when I say tools, it's not something to add to our existing tool belt, but something that's really invisible to us, but it's working in our favor to start taking away some of these tasks and that burden and the steps of managing technology. And let's have the technology work for the nurse. So to move the needle, on IV related medication, there is a substantial opportunity for hospitals to adopt kind of the advanced infusion pump technology really based on that next generation platform that helps us improve the medication process, our clinical outcomes, um, reducing that cognitive burden and ultimately improving patient safety. Thank you for watching this webinar preview. My name is Julie Cullen, the Managing Editor of American Nurse Journal. I invite you to watch the full version of this free on-demand webinar. Just follow the link in the description. You can also visit myamericannurse.com for a full collection of our free educational webinars. Thank you.